Hey, Michael, it's great to see you again. I'm here with Michael Hammer from Reef. Hey, Michael, why don't you just tell us a little bit more about yourself, the organization you're with. I know you're a longtime Nutanix customer, also Haiku customer, maybe a little bit about what you're trying to do, but I really like to sort of hear what your challenges that you, you were faced with and sort of what you were trying to overcome from an IT perspective. Yeah, thank you, Don. It's nice to be here. We are a South, South uh, West based uh, company in Germany near the Black Forest. We are a mixed media house. We do some local newspapers, some online portals like um, news portals, uh, something like that. We also have a uh, um, film, film, uh, film news portal uh, online. We have some radio stations, and we also have a little food company which does gluten-free food and something like that. So, what is our history? Well. We, we had a very mixed infrastructure, over which was grown over the years, you know. We had some different storages, we had some different computers and all sorts of things, yes. Mm -hmm. So we had to decide what is the future, what, what we'll do in the future. Yeah, we chose Nutanix and coming along with that we had to choose another backup uh, solution. Because, you know, we, we, we have HV, all the HV on all our clusters. Mm -hmm. And we had to choose um, what backup solution will support all of our well, requirements. So it sounds like what you're trying to do is sort of simplify your infrastructure. You had a lot of different solutions in, yes. in place. That's sort of why you, you made the move to Nutanix. So, hey, that's great. Um, what, what other sort of challenges was cost issues at play here, sort of integration pieces? Well, coming along with the choice of um, doing everything new, we also decided to go to a public data center because our own data centers were a little bit old and we had to invest very much money to make them higher available. So we just ran some racks in public data centers and you know, public data centers you pay for space and for energy. Mm -hmm. So that's really the best, uh, the best uh, points to choose Nutanix because not much space, not very much different systems and it doesn't consume so much energy because it's all in one solution. Just sounds like simplicity too. You don't you don't really want backup to be too complex or add more tasks or to, to create more complexity for your environment as yeah. well. Like I already said, you know, the user interface of the backup is, is really like Nutanix. So I got other administrators which I need to teach to use the, the backup system, yes. So if they already knew Nutanix, I don't have to teach them very much for the Haiku because it really looks like the same, like uh, Nutanix. So it's really easy to use. You you just uh, take a look at it and you, well, you find every every point you want to do it by yourself really mm -hmm. really quick. After we completed our, our migration with every workflow to Nutanix, we want to take a look at um, long time archiving. So what what solution is the best for us? Um, like Haiku already supports archiving to another storage. We just need to look which which storage it will be. So another thing is um, object storage. Mm -hmm. We also want to use object storage, like uh, very much editorial stuff, pictures and everything like that for, from many, many years as we are a news company, you know, mm -hmm. there's very much stuff of that. So we also want to look, uh, take a look at something like that. Well, hey, I really appreciate your time, uh, Michael. It's always great to sit down and talk to you. I uh, wish you nothing but the best of luck with what you're doing uh, at Reef and with your infrastructure and the support needs. And certainly we're thrilled that you're a customer of Haiku and thrilled that your experience both with Nutanix and Haiku has been so great. So thanks again. Thank you, Don. It's great to be here.